Hello there. Welcome to another EA observing session with an 18 Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. My name is Pete. Tonight we're going to observe the comet C 2023 A3 Su Xin Chan. It's October the 23rd and the comet is sitting around 30 degrees high in the western sky. It's around 7 pm local time here in the UK. We can use Starry Night Pro 8 to visualize the comet's journey through the inner solar system. Plotting its orbit from early May and June 2024, when I first observed the comet. Even then, the comet had a bright nucleus and a distinct tail. Since then, the comet has looped around the Sun and is now heading back into the outer solar system. The scope tonight is a Celestron CPC-800 operating at f6 and attached is a Player One Aries C Pro camera cooled to zero degrees Celsius. We're going to be using SharpCap and it's a line on comet feature as well as our usual software friends, Solarium, but this time the QT6 build, Astro Planner, and the newly released Ascom Platform 7. I have switched the alignment in SharpCat to align on Comet, and as I had automatic dithering set, I turned this off. A nice feature in Solarium is the ocular plugin's ability to calculate the maximum exposure time for a moving object. The calculated exposure time would not cause smearing in the selected imager and telescope. Tonight, this was calculated as 6.6 .6 seconds. We're going to use a sub-exposure time of 5 seconds, and thanks to SharpCap's Align on Comet feature, we can then stack multiple subs as we normally do with EAA. SharpCat will align these with the comet as it moves across the sky. The result of this is that the stars will trail as the exposure time builds up. Our field of view is only half a degree square, so we're only going to capture the head of the comet. A wide field telescope will be better, but we work with what we have. As the subs stack, the noise in the image reduces and the star trails lengthen. The comet is certainly more impressive sight than it was in my first observation in May. We're going to stack for around eight minutes, taking snapshots as we go. As the comet sank into the trees, I managed to get three stacked images. The last one was using 10 second subs, and the nucleus of the comet was, as predicted, slightly smeared. I'll keep on observing Su Xin Shan Atlas as it heads further out into the solar system. Thank you for watching, and have fun.